Okay, you ready to learn about letter K's partner letter? Okay. Well, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to hear the sound of this new letter. Ready? All right, the sound is G. Can you do that again? G. One more time. G. Okay, so what are we doing with our mouth when we make that sound? G. Are we using our lips? G. Are we using our teeth? G. Are we using our tongue? G. Yes, we're using our tongue. This is sounding a lot like K, isn't it? Yeah, that's why they're partner letters. Are we using our voice? G. Oh, definitely. Did you feel your vocal cords move when you did that? Do it again. G. Yeah, we're definitely using our voice. Okay, so there's the difference. So if K is the quiet choking sound, what is this letter? Yes, the noisy choking. Exactly. This is the noisy choking sound. You're using the back of your tongue. It's almost like you're choking a little bit. Right? G. We turn our voice on this time. K, it was k. No voice. Okay? This is the letter. Do you know? Oh, I think I heard you. G. Yes. This is the letter G. And this is an adorable little g. G girl, okay, the little girl, and she is drinking g g grape juice, yes, and I know it's a G because her head, and then she has her arm that comes under her chin, right, here's her chin, here's her chin, right, her arm comes under her chin, and that's how she gets the g g grape juice into her mouth. When you have the body and then the arm goes the other way, that's a different letter. Okay, we're going to learn about that letter next time. But when the G's hook goes under the head, that's telling you that that's her arm. And she's putting it into her mouth to take some grape juice. Okay? Yeah, good, good, grape juice. And this is the sound that we all make when we're being silly and we're drinking anything, milk, juice, whatever. We go and that's the sound that G makes. Yes, do it with me. Pretend you're holding some juice, put it near your mouth and go yeah, that is her signal. K, in case you forgot, is that k -k 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 choking, right? Mom's tied it way too tight. And G is g -g 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 -g. Yeah. There we go. So we have the quiet choking sound, tongue choking sound, and the noisy choking sound. This is K. k. This is G. G. Now, in a few weeks, we're going to learn that G has another sound that she makes, but for right now, we're going to focus on the G sound, okay? All right, so that was fun. I love K and G. They're probably two of my favorites. The kids always remember them, too. Speaking of remembering our letter sounds, let's have a little test right now. I just so happen to have our other letters that we've learned so far, this KJS. Let's see if we can remember the sounds that they make, okay? Follow along for my signals if you get stuck, okay? Here we go. The sound. Perfect. Tap that belly. Yep, beat that drum. That's right. Bite your lip. Bite your lip. 
Ooh, be scary. Mm. Oh, be very quiet. Very loud. Buh, buh, buh. Babies are loud. Oh, here we go. Choke. And have a drink. All right, let's do that a little faster. You ready? All right, here we go. We're going a little faster. Wait. Do it one more time. I'm gonna shuffle them up a little bit though. Okay? Shuffle them up. Shake them up a bit. Alright, ready? Here we go. Keep practicing. Just watch that part of the video over and over again. Bye.